classic film festival, March 26th to 29th in Hollywood. Passes on sale now at tcm.com slash festival. Hey everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM. Helen Hayes is known as the First Lady of the American Theater, but that really shouldn't mitigate her accomplishments on the screen, as we're proving tonight with a look at some of Hayes' strongest film performances. Up next, Hayes is part of an all-star cast in a movie that sat on a shelf for over 70 years due to rights issues. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, who wrote the book on which the movie is based, hated the film adaptation so much he refused to renew the distribution rights to the studio. Well, a few years ago, we were able to sort those issues out, and now we can bring you the film. From MGM in 1933, it's Night Flight. It's the story of Argentinian airmail pilots, a dangerous profession in the early days of commercial aviation. Producer David O. Selznick liked the book, but felt it needed more stories, so he had it expanded to include the personal lives of the pilots, turning the film into an ensemble piece. Selznick then assembled a cast featuring the top stars he had under contract. John and Lionel Barrymore, Clark Gable, Myrna Loy, and the actress we're honoring tonight, Helen Hayes. This was still early in Hayes' screen career, but she was already an Academy Award winner, winning in her Hollywood debut, a film we'll be showing later tonight, The Sin of Madeleine Claudette. Despite her Oscar, Hayes was nervous starring opposite John Barrymore, who'd long proven himself to be a terrific but a temperamental actor. He had a reputation for being difficult to work with. Furthermore, he was using cue cards because his drinking made it difficult for him to remember his lines. Hayes was eager not to incur his wrath, so when she shot her first scene with him, she made sure she knew her lines cold. And apparently, so did Barrymore. When asked why he didn't use the cue cards, he replied, I'm working with a real actress. I don't want to make a fool of myself. It was a compliment Helen Hayes never forgot. From 1933, here's Night Flight. <laughs> 